everybody, it's Fish Lord here, and welcome back to the 30th episode of the Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, in between episodes, as you saw through the grinding montage before, I did do some grinding, and right now, I need to know whether or not you guys like the grinding montage or not. So, if you did like it, please do comment down in the comments and say, I liked it, or hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, or go down in the comments and just write, I don't, I don't like the grinding montages, I don't want to see them in the other videos, because... It does take up more space on my computer, and I don't have that much, so it's I, I want it um, kind of save as is. So if you guys don't want it, I don't have to record that then. And it kind of puts a little bit of pressure off on me, so that you know I don't have to be recording. Granted, if someone still dies in the grinding that I do, I st I will tell you guys. I I am very good at that, so don't worry about that. But anyways, let's just jump straight into a quick team recap now, since. Some people's levels went up and other stuff. So first we have Skyplant the Shaman, my starter. He's level 37 now. I think he ranked up three levels through the grinding. And he soaks up EXP like it's nothing. But he has Roar Time, Double Hit, Poison Powder, or Poison Gas, sorry, and Bubble Beam. The Poison Gas he did learn through um, the grinding. And I put it on because it has the chance of poisoning and the Poison Powder had that 75% accuracy, and I didn't really like that at all, so I decided to get rid of it. But next we have Read the Chime Co. with Free Shock, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Volt Switch. I don't think he really leveled up that much in between, like, with the grinding. I think he may have leveled up a level, but he's already good as is, so I didn't want to do anything else. And next we have Lance the Luxury with Thunderbolt, Blue Flare, Drill Run, and Charge Beam. He was crucial in the grinding because he, was, he would take out Sigalifts like they were nothing. And look at that special attack, I mean, it's just phenomenal. And next we have Tsunami the Lugia with Sleep Powder, Steamroller, Fly, and Thunderbolt. And he's holding the Razor Fang. I think he did also level up like two levels maybe in the grinding. And I think last we have Fudge the Seismitoad with Dual Chop, U-Turn, Night Slash, and Bulldoze. And as you can see right now, I don't have Goth on the team because I was looking at it in between episodes and Goth's stats. Ooh, it's winter now. That's kind of cool. But Goth's stats weren't that great. He was very frail. And I didn't really want to keep him on the team because it's just more it's more people to train. And if he's not good, I don't want to um keep him on the team. But who do I have first? I have Shaman first. Okay. I'm fine with that. But yeah, that gym looks sick. But I don't want to keep him on the team really if he's not gonna be that great. And I had to spend more time to level him up. And his defenses were very poor. So it was basically another version of Licky Licky. And I don't want... I don't want anyone else to die. For a little bit of time at least. So, who's... We're going to jump straight into the gym now. And see how far we can get. The Dragon Gym in Eplucid City is where tough trainers show they can carve out their own path. Well, that's kind of cool. You can just carve it out of like, like a pizza pie. Like you just carve it out and say this is the path I'm going to take. And then dance... I'm challenged by Dancer Forest. Corsa. Oh no. You're a tank. I'm gonna have to send out. You're level 41. Oh shoot. Um. Kinda wanna go on the Lance. I don't think the Corsola has any good attack or special attack, so. I think I'm fine in that sense. But I'm still a little bit worried. The pressure's, the pressure's on. The pressure's on, man. Torment. Well, that's fine. That was a. Free subbing for me, that's great. And I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt right now because supersonic. Okay, good, good. I'm so happy that I missed because if that didn't, that could have been a huge problem. But that Corsola is dead now. He's D E D. Dead. And Lance leveled up, which is phenomenal. And that special attack. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But he's slow. That's the one thing that's bad about him. He's slow. I'm sure you can carve out your own path. Yeah, I can. I've been carving it out. That's why I'm going through all. The gyms. This gym is actually really. And you walk on the dragon's tail. I forgot about that. That's actually something that's really cool. The other thing is, in this game, they were kind of um, experimenting. I'm gonna say, with all the like the new graphics, like the three-dimensional graphics, because in the DS itself, when this came out, they didn't have the um, hardware in the DS to enable it to render all these three-dimensional objects like in Pokemon X and Oras. Another Wubat, another flying type, are you kidding me? I just want to level up Skyplant right now, I can't do that. But, yeah, they were, um, 
I'm gonna go into Tsunami this time. But they were experimenting with it to see how far they could push it without creating a new game system. That's what I believe. Because creating a whole new game system is a little bit of a problem. Since there's always gonna be some people that don't buy it. And then they lose the, um... They, lo they lose their, uh... The people who they lost then won't buy the games and they, they're gone forever, basically. So, they want to keep it basically as cheap for the people as possible sometimes. I'm, I, that, that's, no, I'm not sure about that one, actually. Because they want to make a profit, so they make it expensive, but they want to have it at a certain price range where they can still make a, a lot of profit, but it's not too high where people are like, oh, this is too expensive and everything else. And I'm gonna hop off. Ooh. Oh, the arm goes up now. And oh, this is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't think I can go anywhere. Oh, I can. I can go around. Oh, interesting. But yeah, anyways, I'm done talking about economics and stuff like that. Let's just jump straight in. So, who are we gonna be versing now? Dancer Veronica. Okay, are you ready to dance? Sand Slash, finally, I can finally use Sky Plant against someone. Level 40, shoot. Why are these so high? Like, I apparently was really under leveled because Sky Plant was level 34 before the grinding. That's nothing. Block. Oh, I can't escape now. Okay, that's not bad. I wasn't planning on escaping anyway, so that's all good. But that does nothing. I wish it did more damage. Why can't you just simply dish out damage like it's nothing? Come on, Skyplant. And why was it just a little bit of a red cloud just appearing over the screen? That was kind of weird. But hopefully this will kill the sand shoot now. No, it's going to leave with one HP. Ugh, I hate it when that does it. Like, it's like you couldn't have just simply done a little bit more damage. And actually, I've been watching the Pokemon Origins movies lately. Well, not movies, uh, TV show thing. Whatever they are, it's only like six episodes, so I'm not even sure if it's a TV show. But I was watching that recently, and I was watching the battles, and I was laughing because when, um, Jump Bluff. Uh, I'll send out Reed, I think, for that. Fudge, I'm not sure about. I'm sorry, not read. But, um, for, like, say the battle between red and blue. Like, uh, or, like, say, red and Giovanni. One hit would just kill the Pokemon like it was nothing. Even if it wasn't very effective. It would just wipe it out. And I'm just sitting here like, wow. If only Pokemon was like that. <laughs> because then the faster Pokemon, you know, would win all the time. Which is a little bit overpowered. Because then you could just simply... That did nothing. Read. That did nothing. Imagine if Chimeco was like instead of R E E D, it was R E A D, like you were actually reading a book. Kids go home and read your books all the time. That that would just be like, no, I would I would never do that. I could go for the um free shock. I think I might. I might do that because that'd be times four damage and you're not really dishing out the damage as is. And unless they get a crit, I'm fine. So, tackle. That should do nothing. I'm gonna use the. From. I don't really like this move because it, it takes two turns to use, which is a huge downfall. Because. Yeah. Are you. And that's the thing I don't like. Two turn moves should not miss, in my opinion. Because you have to spend a turn to actually, like, charge it up. And then. Oh, well, you know, it missed. Like, Solar Beam? You have to spend the turn charging, and then it's like, oh, well, yeah, now we didn't hit. It's like, are you kidding me? I just got hit. I just got taken. I just dealt. Uh, not dealt. I just got... Ah, I can't talk right now. I just received damage in order to um, use this move, and then I missed the move. Like, why is that even a thing? Okay, free shock. This should just kill it right now, because it's times four. It should just kill it. There we go. All right. And that experience. Sheesh. 39. You're strong. I guess you want to know, but the dragon's heads pretty badly. Let me guess. Both dragon's heads have to go up in order to reach the gym leader. I, I, I always loved the, the dragon types. I think I mentioned this in another um, 
episode of the series, but I love dragon types. They're one of my favorite Pokemon types, no typing. Why? Because they're just so strong, and I've always, ever since I was a little kid, I always loved dragons. Like, they they fascinate me because they're, they're like mythical creatures, and they're just awesome, and they breathe fire, and it's just awesome in general. So I always loved dragons, and then, oh yeah, I played a game, and there was a dragon type, and they were overpowered as heck in the earlier game. So I'm like, wow, like, dragons are awesome, <laughs> and a Vigoroth he sends out. Actually, funny thing that I never understood about Vigoroth, I'm going to go for the poison gas right now, is that um, the first Pokemon that, like his first evolution, I forget what it is, Slackoff. Um, no, is it Slackoff? Something like that, but he goes and he has the Tront ability, so like every other turn he can't do anything, but then he evolves into Vigoroth where he doesn't have that ability anymore, and then he evolves, you have dry skin, you're kidding me. And then he evolves even further, and that evolution has Tron again. So it's like, why did he go from being lazy to being active to being lazy again? Like, that, to me, doesn't make any sense. The only thing is, I want to go on the Fudge right now, but the only thing I'm worried about is his defenses. I think he can take a hit. He's using the Toxic. Oh, not Toxic, the Sludge Wave, and I'm ground, so I should eat that up. But I'm kind of worried he has, like, a Grass move. I haven't seen him use it. Which I'm a little bit flame burst. That's gonna be, yeah, dude. That's gonna do nothing, bud. Literally nothing. I kind of want to go for the bulldoze. I think I'm gonna go for that. Bulldoze. Let's just see how much damage Fudge does. Not much, but he should kill now. Zen headbutt. This shouldn't do that much. Yeah, I was gonna say because Fudge has the low defenses, but it's not that low. Like he can still. He can still take a couple hits, which is nice. And there goes the Vigoroth. And Skyplant still is not leveling up. Like, it, it soaks up experience like it's nothing. It's like, ooh, I love experience. That's what I have every single morning for breakfast. You know, it, it's just, it's a little annoying because I want, I want him to be a good Pokemon, but, and he is because he is very defensive and that def defense is very helpful. But, the only problem with that is the fact that... Oh. Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But oh, I'll be a little tough on you. Uh, but the only problem with that is that I, I need attacking Pokemon because in order for me to... Um... Ooh, Samurott. I kind of want to go out into Tsunami right now. Because in order for me to do well, like for, um, for a period of time... I was left with only Skyplant and Swiper, the Grovile, which sadly had to perish. Really upset about that, because I had him from a really early point in the game. I got him before the first gym. So, he re that was really like a disappointing moment when he died. I got poisoned, really? That makes me really worried now. I'm still going to go for the Thunderbolt. I don't think he's going to be able to do that much. Hone Claws. I don't like that. I do not, not I do not like that at all. Thunderbolt, come on. Come on. Just just kill this thing. It's not gonna kill, it's gonna do like half. No, it's gonna kill. Are are you Yeah, you, you have to leave everything Wild Charge. Um Don't you dare no okay good. And luckily he has the magic guard, I think it is, where he doesn't take the poison damage. I forgot about that when he originally got poisoned. But Tsunami is now level 40. Hallelujah, look at those stats. Sheesh. And Skyplan's level 39. Oh, my heart aches. But yeah, it's if, it, if I come down to a point where I only have Skyplant left, I'm in a really bad situation because Skyplant can't do that much damage at all. So it's like... It's a problem because I need him to do damage if it's only him and he's just a single tank and he doesn't even do that much damage so I don't know it's a little bit of a problem but it's not the worst because I don't think I ever will at this point get to a point where I'll be like oh well I'm not able to have any other Pokemon because thankfully I still have a couple Pokemon in the box and I think I still have a couple of encounters like at Ends Castle if we can get a Pokemon there, I get an encounter there. And other places, hopefully, as well. Oh, I have to versus trainer? 
Come on. I will test you to see how well you really know Pokemon. All right. Well, I I I think I know Pokemon pretty well. I've been playing it since a very early age, and I I love it. That's why I play it so much on my channel because for me, it's just a, a really fun game to play, and I I, I enjoy. Uh, sorry if that just went in and out. I have no clue why I did that. My headset's freaking out. It's like, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to do this. I'm going to go on to Tsunami right now because I could have gone out into Lance because he has Flame Burst. But Tsunami has the Fly, which is Reflect type. Oh, that's not going to do it. Actually, no, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Yeah, it's going to be annoying. Uh, I could go for the Steamroller, actually, now since you are... Psychic, so yeah, that's that was a crit. That's why, and he gets the flinch. He gets the flinch. That 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 is gonna be great because now I don't have to use an extra potion for some damage that he does or something like that. But War Turtle. Oh, I haven't seen War Turtle in forever. I'm going out on the lance for this one. I kind of want to use Fudge more, but he is a little bit of a lower leveled right now. A level right now. And he's not terrific. I mean, he's 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 still good. Like, I'm very happy he's on my team right now. War Turtle looks sick in this game. Oh my gosh! I I, I am so happy with that. Like, that looks amazing. Hyper Voice. Um, that did nothing. Okay. Well, apparently you're all defense and you have no special attack. And there's. Oh, you've sturdy. Okay, never mind. I was gonna get mad because I'm like, why does everyone keep leaving? Uh, um, keep ending up with only one HP left. But he has sturdy. That's actually a nice ability. If I got a War Turtle ever, I'd be very happy because War Turtle is my favorite starter. Golem. Uh. Okay, this is getting really annoying. Does Fudge know any? Could go for the ground. But he's already ground himself. Um. Actually, I'm gonna go for uh, Fudge. I don't know why my headset keeps going in and out. This is getting really annoying. I might have to... After I, f after, I think after I finish this battle, I'm just going to stop. Like, I'm going to pause the recording real quick and then... Finish it up. Uh, Bulldoze. Right now. Bulldoze. That should just kill it. No! Are you kidding me? Gravity. Okay. That's not a problem for me at, at all. Because now... All my moves will hit. Gravity makes it, which I found really cool, it makes it where all moves hit 100% of the time. So if you get like a Willow uh, Pokemon, Willow will always hit, or Hypnosis, it will always hit. And it's just a really nice move. You are bringing out your Pokemon's full potential. Why, thank you very much, sir. That sure means a lot coming from you. And I'll be right back after I fix my headset. I don't know why it keeps going in and out, but. Okay guys, so I'm back again. I'm sorry about that little headset problem, but it should be all fixed now. And I actually did go and verse the other trainer. I didn't really realize the fact that my recording wasn't recording and or my recording software wasn't recording and stuff like that. But, you know, nothing really happened. I think Lance just killed the Pokémon with like a flare blitz. So, wasn't even that bad. And here's the last trainer, I think, and then I am going to have to heal up. We have 10 years experience battling. I give you a taste of veteran skill. Okay. Well, I guess that's nice. I don't really know. You were challenged by Ghost Rider Mark. Soul Rock. Okay, uh, I think I can just handle this with Sky Plant. Because it's, it's, um, it's Psychic and it's Rock. So Bubble Beam should still do a lot of damage. How, that does nothing. Simple Beam. I... Uh, no, stop that. I don't like that. I want Snow Cloak. Even though it doesn't do anything at all. I wish it did stuff. But... It doesn't. I, I don't know who to go out for. Cause it doesn't have Levitate, so I could actually go out into Fudge. Which I very well might do. Wait, was that a bad decision? I don't know. I didn't see the move that Soul Rock just used. Hopefully, it's not going to be that bad of a move. Simple Beam. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that's not going to do much at all. The only thing is that I'm worried about now is the Fudge is down 50 health, and he doesn't have the best. So I'm going to use the Fresh Water on him right now, just because 
I don't want him to die, and I don't know how much damage he's going to take. So this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. Simple beam. Again? Why do you not have any offensive moves? It's going to go for the bulldoze. That does a lot of damage compared to what Bubble Beam was doing. Like, Fudge has way better attack than Sky Plant right now. And there goes the Soul Rock. That's one dead Soul Rock. It's part of your soul. So it, I kill it, and it's just, I'm killing my own soul. Marowak! Marowak, I feel so, ba uh, so bad for. I think it's ground, and I'm just going to, I sent out Fudge. I'm just going to go for the Bulldoze right now. But I feel so bad for it because as a Cubone, in the Pokedex, it literally in every single generation basically has something to do with the fact that a um a Pokemon, like a Cubone, always wears the um the skull of its dead mother. It's like that's so sad. That is so sad. And it's like its mother dies when um it's born. And it's like that is so cruel. Like not cruel, um, like sad because you, you like you can't even live with a mother then it's like hyper beam uh what okay well I don't know why he did that maybe it was his best move he could have done I don't know I don't know Marrocks moves I'm sorry and fudge is now level 39 so in this one episode alone it gained two levels spikes what moves do you have I, I kind of like your moves as it is dual chops very useful Night Slash is good. Bulldoze is good. New turn. I'm gonna actually, like, not go for Spikes. And I don't know why, but Spikes is apparently a ground move. In this game. I always view it as a, um, an, uh, a steel move. And my headset's still going in and out. This is really getting annoying. Uh, no, I don't want to go this way. Did I go the wrong way? Did I? Yeah, I... I no, I think I went the right way. No, I'm going the opposite way now. Why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, well... Yeah. Got to hit this now. Is that gonna do anything? You gonna change this now? Oh, it does! Ah, so apparently I did it the right way. And... I am at the gym leader right now. I'm gonna have to go heal up. But I'm just gonna take a save uh, right now, just so I... If something happens, yeah, I don't want anything to happen, so I'm not going to let anything happen. I'm going to save now and just prevent any sa um, lost save data from happening, and I'll be right back after I go and heal up all my Pokemon. Okay, so I'm back. I healed up and everything, and let's just jump straight in. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I am a Blue Sense Pokemon Gym Leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. Oh, so Hi Iris has already battled Landon. Uh, I thought you were Drayden. You, you, you've been lying to me this whole time. You've introduced yourself to me, and you were lying. Another Soul Rock. Well, I know who I'm going to go out into, because all you apparently can use is Simple Beam. So I'm just going to go out right now into Fudge. And actually, Fudge is a good nickname for Seismato, because it's ground. It's a ground type, and it's water. And, like, Fudge is, like, brown, like, kind of like mud. And, yeah, Seismato is, like, mud, because it's water and ground together. So, I don't know, I feel like that's a pretty good nickname for it. It, it, it kind of looks like mud. Oh, I got, I got rid of my aftermath, come on. Like, that's not gonna hopefully play, um, play a part, but who knows? That was, that was a lot of damage, wow. This Seismitoad apparently has less defense. I didn't see that coming, you were a very difficult opponent. How did you not see that coming? I'm a ground type Pokemon, you're a rock type Pokemon. What do you think I'm gonna do, that was a crit. That, hey, I'm not complaining. That sure saved me, probably. And Mandibuzz. I'm just going to stay in because I'm ground type. If he has an electric type, oh no, Mandibuzz is, yeah. Well, I don't have anything for that. I'm going to have to go out into Tsunami right now because I, I don't like swapping Lance in. Especially when it the, when the Pokemon's four levels higher than it. Because Lance doesn't have terrific defenses. So, Leaf Tornado. Okay, well, that wouldn't have killed it. But that might have, who, who knows, that might have done a lot of damage. I don't like that free shock. Like, I, I don't like that. I don't know how much damage you do. So hopefully this Thunderbolt just kills. Probably won't though. 
No, it doesn't. But I forgot, he still has, I think, two um, Hyper Potions in the back, so he's probably gonna use that on his last Pokemon. That did a lot of damage. That almost did half my health. Uh, well, goodbye, Mandibuzz. I no longer want to see your face ever again. Goodbye. You're fried turkey. Actually, I think Mandibuzz is like the turkey Pokemon. But no, it's a Vulture. What am I talking about? It's a Vulture. Drapion. Bug. No, it's dark and poison. Could go back out into, um, Fudge. I'm gonna probably do that, because Poison's weak to ground, and Fudge is ground, and yeah, Fudge is pretty good. I like Fudge. I, I, I just like Seismitoad in general. A lot of people hate on Gen 5, because they say, Oh, there were no good Pokemon. No, it's a moment of truth. That really gets my blood pumping. Because they're like, oh, there's no good Pokemon in Gen 5, and everything else. In my opinion, Gen 5 has some really good Pokemon. That just one shot oh, was a crit. Wow, Fudge. Good job. Just eat up all that experience. This interest, feeling, uh, this intense feeling that floods me after defeat. I don't know how to describe it. Well, thank you for my money. So you, um, apparently you've never been defeated before. Wonderful. I'm grateful we had a chance to meet in battle. Well, thank you for my final gym badge. We now have all eight of the gym badges, which is absolutely terrific because. Now what we have to do is just simply battle N and take on the Leaf 4, like, we're almost done with the series, which actually makes me really sad. Well now, you've obtained all the gym badges in Unova. I know, I just said that. Now, Pokemon will obediently follow your commands. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I, I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. Well, thank you. That, oh, I should have had spikes. Then I could have done Dragon Tail for days. Oh, that's annoying. I kind of wish I had... I, knew that it was going to give me Dragon Tail, I would have kept Spikes. But, whatever. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In other words, it switches your opponent's Pokemon. Now, I have something to ask of you. Head for the Pokemon League and go after Alder. The Pokemon League is past Route 10, which runs from Eblucid's City to Victory Road. I know Alder's strength, but I don't know the depths of N's power. Okay, well, we are now going to be heading to the Elite Four. So we have all eight gym badges. We successfully beat. Oh, hey, Professor. We successfully beat the gym leader also without having a single Pokemon die, which is amazing. Hello! Was Trayden as tough as ever? No, he didn't kill a single Pokemon. Oh, I came to report on how to resurrect the legendary Pokemon, Pokemon Reshiram. I thought it'd be better to tell you in person than over the X Transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure that people will wake up when it does. It deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all EF, you know of us gym badges now, right? Yep, and I'm only 10 years old. You've become so strong. Thank you. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left you know, the town. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong trainer should head next. I, I don't think I said trainer right. I think I said trainer, but whatever. And you, you, you just keep leading me. Uh, okay, I, I know I'm supposed to go there. Past the decade, okay, okay, whatever, and you arrive at the, okay, I, I, I know, I know, Pokemon League, I have to go to Pokemon League next. Um, no, yeah, okay, don't worry, you'll have to tell me everything. <laughs> I don't regret going to Pokemon Journey, I feel like, I, I always, ooh, Master Ball. This Master Ball is uh, the most powerful kind of Pokeball. That's the thing, in every single region, they have the Master Ball, and it's supposed to be like this new high-tech device that can capture anything, but... They have it in every single region, so it's like, it's not that special, because everyone apparently knows how to make it. But anyways, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button down below, or the subscribe button if you like my content in general. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye!